So coming back to the space that you've got, as again, you only need about a space to do this and this motion, okay? So just settle your feet nice and flat on the ground so that second and third toes are in line with your knees and your knees are in line with your hips. Ignore mine because this one's a bit wonky. Bringing the chest up, take in some deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And then exhale. That's it. Allow that ribcage to lift. Tucking the bottom under and pulling the tummy in. One more. That's lovely. And allow those arms to just drop down to the side. So let's mobilise starting with the spine from the top being our neck. So looking over to your shoulder, turning over to the left or the right. And then bringing your back to centre. And now the other side. So this is just a 10 minute sequence that you can do every morning, every evening, or whenever you've been sat down at a desk and you've been there for too long. Just get yourself up and just do these movements. Good. And now just lower the ear to the shoulder, keeping those shoulders square and still so you're not lifting them up. And then bring the head back to the top. And the other side. And just hold that position and allow that stretch to just release any tension and tightness. And then back up. One more each side. There you go. And one more. Last one. Good. Just allow the chin to drop towards the chest. And then just look up, look up to the ceiling, or whatever's above you, not too far back, and just bring your head back to centre. Good. Now taking your shoulder, and then rotate that backwards. There we go. Just release any tightness that you have. Taking that hand for that arm, place it on the shoulder. And then just draw some small circles with your elbow. Now as you're holding onto your shoulder, you will feel that there may well be some clunking going on, some grinding sounds. If you get any pain, do stop. That's it. So we're just mobilising that ball and socket joint of the shoulder. Good. And then a couple of times forwards. Loosening up those ligaments, warming them up, and now the other side, place a hand on the shoulder. Some small circles with the elbow. And then forwards. So I'm going to leave these posts up um, for the week so that you can come back to them and have a look. If you've missed it today or if you're still at work, allow that arm to drop down. Okay, so taking the arm up over the head and circling backwards. Keeping those chests in front, the hips straight and square. And try and keep that elbow as straight as you can. Brush past that ear. Now if you can't, that's absolutely fine because many people have shoulder issues these days. Especially a lot of my old netball friends, we've got masses of joint problems. Now the other arm, up and over. And you'll find the more that you do this, the easier this movement becomes. Good, now bringing the arms to the top. Let's have one go one way and one go the other. So this time you will find you're probably going to have to move the upper part of your body. So your shoulders will be going in different directions. And then switch direction. So the other arm comes forward and back. There we go, good. Last time, finish off at the top. 
and reach up, pushing those palms up and allow the arms to come down. Good, so arm up in front and open. Squeeze that scapula, squeeze that shoulder blade, bring the arm back and down. Right arm up, open, keeping the hand and the arm in parallel level with your shoulder. And back to the front and down. This time take both arms up to chest height, open up, squeeze those shoulder blades and just hold for the moment. Coming back to the front and down. Good, and again, up to the front to the chest height. Open, squeeze the shoulder blades. Remember to breathe, bringing the arms in and down. Okay, good. So this time we're going to add some hip movement and lift the knee. So knee up and down. Up and down. So this is going to now test your balance. Up and down. So create a 90 degree angle behind your knee. Good. Now if this is too fast for you, you can do it slower. It's all about centering the balance within the core. And then hinging from the hip. Let's just work that hip. Now opposite arm and opposite knee up. Good. Pull those tummy muscles in. Lovely. Two more. And up. Good. Now taking your left leg or your right leg, just point to the front and then we just bring that leg round to the back and then place it down. So again, we're just working through the hip, working through the pelvis and warming that up. Point and round. Place it down. Other side. Bring it round and down. So as you're taking that leg round, you'll find that it's really working the glute as well. So it's warming that muscle up and engaging those joints. And you actually get quite warm doing this. Good, okay. So back to the knee lift, now open at the hip. And if you've had hip problems, please be very careful with this. If you've had a hip replacement, I suggest you don't do this. So knee up, out and down. I mean, don't do this unless you've been told by your consultant that you can, but we just don't want any hip joints going out of place. So this time we're going to take it from the outside and bring it round to the front. Now if you feel that it's easier for you to hold on to a wall or a chair, then use that to support yourself. Hip. Good. And even I can feel clicking in my hip joint. Last one. Well done, okay, I'm just going to step back a little bit. So we're just going to mobilise the spine now all the way down. So I want you to place your chin to your chest. Just relax, roll the shoulders forward, widen those feet slightly so it keeps your balance. And then just lower yourself, hinging from your hip, rolling down, allowing that vertebrae to open up one at a time. Soften those knees and have bent knees, keep the head down. And then just hang there for a moment when you get to the bottom or as far as you can. And then just roll back up nice and slowly. Good, bring the arms up in front, reaching up. And then back down in front, good. Chin to chest. Roll the shoulders. Roll down. And then back up.
Now normally in a class we do this a few times. Bring the arms down and I can come and check you. But today, because it's Facebook Live, I can't see anybody. So please just take this carefully. Rolling down, this is the last time. And then rolling back up. Bringing the arms up in front, reaching up. And then just take a slight lean back so we can extend the spine. Good, bring the arms down. Taking a deep breath, bend those knees to a small squat. Inhale. And exhale. There we go. Quick 10 minutes of mobilization in a standing position. There's far, far more that we can do with those movements and motions. I've got lots more in my bag, in my notes, in my brain, um, and I'd love to share some more with you. So come back again.